Sometimes artificial intelligence artwork is awesome, but you can't edit it. And so in this video, I'm going to show you, this is the site here called Photo Kit, and it's completely free. All you need to do is go up to the top here and click Start Editing. I'll put a link to this, by the way, in the video description below. It's completely free. There is a paid option, but I'm just going to be using the free option here. So I'm going to click Open Photo, and I'm going to dump in a photograph that I created using AI. Okay, I've got my image loaded here, and you'll see there's a bunch of white, and I'm not a big fan of having a white background on a t-shirt design. Having a square chunk on a t-shirt to me does not look as good as having a background removed. Pretty easy to remove the background. Down at the bottom, there's a bunch of items, a bunch of options here you can use, and what I'm looking for is one called Magic Eraser. It's right there. I'm going to click on it, and I've got an option now to do maximum strength, minimum strength, or somewhere in between. And I've also got an option here to do the background on or off. I'm going to click on, and that's going to tell the computer that I'm trying to remove the white. And I'm going to have the strength sort of in the middle to start. You can always undo it if it doesn't work properly. I'm simply going to click inside the white, and we'll see that did a pretty good job. If it's too strong, just click Control Z, and it will undo, and then that way you've got another shot at it. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. It's very easy to use. And you can modify the strength of the background remover pretty easily with the strength slider. A big deal to take your designs to the next level is if you have hair like I've got here, you want to remove that white inside the hair and so that you'll let the t-shirt shine through. It's a really nice feature. It looks a lot more professional that way. I'm very happy with the way that looks. Okay, so I'm not happy with this line and it's personal preference. I just don't think it looks very good. And so I'm going to go next to Magic Eraser. There's an actual eraser. So I'm going to click on that. And that now gives me an option to do little tiny brushes or a very large brush. I'm going to click the middle brush. And then I've got a strength option as well. And then I'm just going to leave this background on because I've removed the white. There's really only black left. So now I'm going to just scroll up over the area that I want to remove. The computer is going to think for a second and it will simply remove it. So you've got an actual eraser tool as well, which is really nice. I'll click close. And now I'm happy with the way this looks. The background's been removed. I've got my little warrior here. And now I can simply save it going right here to the save button. It's going to ask me if I want to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. And I'm going to select the name of my file and I'll click save. Here's my PNG file. I'm simply going to save it now to my computer. Now I've opened this up inside of my Photoshop just to show you that this really is a PNG file. I'm going to put a background layer on there and just pretend that's like a green t-shirt. I think that looks really nice. Now I noticed here that white is gone inside of the piece right here. So I would go back and probably do that again and I would make it look a little bit better. So it's always good to double check using a mock-up tool. But overall though, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. I hope you found this helpful. The site again is photokit.com. I'll put a link in the video description. It's completely free. I use it. It's pretty fun. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills for free.